I'm Tammy Payne in the TV9 newsroom. If you are anywhere downtown, you probably heard it and felt it. An explosion of some kind downtown. Oklahoma City, take a look at this picture. This is our tower cam shot, a plume of smoke rising in the air. I was on the phone with uh, one of the fire chiefs, John Hansen, just moments ago. We were talking. He said, wow, there's been some kind of explosion in downtown Oklahoma City. The minute he said it, we felt what I guess is some type of aftershock, maybe a second explosion that we felt all the way here at Wilshire and Kelly at Newsline 9. This is a live picture right now downtown Oklahoma City. Robin, have you got some more information? Uh, just saying that it was near the YMCA and apparently there are numerous injuries, just so you can have that. Initial reports, numerous injuries. These are initial reports coming into Newsline 9. Again, a live picture, tower cam, downtown Oklahoma City. It is our understanding the explosion was near the YMCA. Now, we're going to stay with you here for a few moments. Maybe the federal, north of City Hall. Also near the federal court building. We're trying to give you some idea of where the explosion took place in case you have family and friends who work in downtown Oklahoma City. This is downtown Oklahoma City near the federal court building, also near the YMCA. This is a live picture, tower cam, pointing south to downtown Oklahoma City. And if you're just joining us again, I was speaking with John Hansen. It was incredible. He said there has been some kind of explosion in downtown Oklahoma City. He, he had no details of what. You can imagine uh, how quick he hung up. As soon as he hung up, we felt here at Newsline 9 the building shake and we heard a very loud explosion. We don't know if it's gas. We don't know what it is. We do know there's a plume of smoke rising to the air. And we're going to stay with you here to talk you through this as we get information on injuries and exactly where this uh, explosion took place. Here's some more information we're getting. The explosion was so powerful, gas or glass was blown out of buildings in a three block area. Now you can imagine what the scanners sound like here. You can probably hear them. Emergency vehicles of every kind are responding. It was felt as far away as Edmond. This is a live picture tower cam in downtown Oklahoma City. Logan County felt it. Del City. Del City felt Edmund. it. Edmond felt it. And again here at Newsline 9, I tell you what, the ground under my feet shook. We felt it as well here. Ranger 9 is on the way and our crews, we have several crews on the way as you can imagine. We have a live truck on the way and a reporter who will get closer to the scene. And we want to stay with you because we know how important it is that you get information on injuries if you have friends or family working in downtown Oklahoma City. Our phones are ringing off the hook. People in Bethany are calling. They felt it. They felt it in Edmond. So a very powerful explosion really just moments ago in downtown Oklahoma City. Now this is our tower cam. We are at Wilshire and Broadway Extension. And this is a live picture. You see the smoke is still coming up, quite a plume there. I'm assuming this, this, what we felt was a second blast. I can only assume that because I was on the phone with John Hansen. He got a report of an explosion and then we felt what seemed like some type of aftershock here at Newsline 9 at Wilshire and Broadway Extension. Our phones are ringing off the hook. Many of you are calling and we appreciate that because we're, we want to know how far away it was it felt. We're getting word from uh, Edmond, Dell City, definitely here at Newsline 9 at Broadway Extension in Wilshire. We have a chopper on the way for a live report for you and then a ground, couple of ground crews so we can get information on how many injuries. There are injuries. We have been able to confirm the building where there was an explosion moments ago was the federal building. If you have family, friends, relatives working there, stay with Newsline 9. We are going to stay with you and get you information on how many injuries, but we have been able to confirm there are injuries at the federal court building in downtown Oklahoma City. We just got calls from Wellston and Chandler. They also felt the explosion. 
Of course, as soon as we get any word as to what happened, we're going to pass it to you. So we're going to keep this live picture up from Tower Cam here at Newsline 9. And we're going to get some more information for you. It's coming to me as we speak. The phones are ringing. People are calling. We were, uh, you know, we said it was near the YMCA, near the federal court building. What we have been able to confirm right now is an explosion at the federal court building downtown. That is where it took place, and we do know there are a number of injuries. Uh, it was felt in Newcom, and they're evacuating several of the buildings downtown. You, know, for sure. you, can, you can imagine the evacuations taking place downtown as well. We would really discourage you from driving anywhere in the area of the federal court building, not only because of the uh, confusion down there and all the emergency vehicles, but we're getting word that glass was blown out of buildings and it is just a mess in downtown Oklahoma City right now. Glass was blown in a three-block area. Felt right here, Tammy, Wellston and Chandler. Felt as far away. If you're in Wellston, Chandler, Del City, Edmond, and you felt something this morning, you're taking a look at a picture of what? An explosion at the Federal Court Building in downtown Oklahoma City. Chopper 9 on the way. We'll get some pictures from the air straight up from where this plume of smoke is. Five blocks. We first told you glass was blown three blocks away. Now we're getting word five blocks away. Glass blown from the federal court building five blocks away. Here's a map for you to kind of help get your bearings on where we're talking about. The federal court house located there, the cross 40 I-35 a major explosion. It is possible there were two explosions. For those of you just joining us, when I was speaking with John Hans, one of the fire chiefs here in town, he said, wow, there's been an explosion in downtown Oklahoma City. As, you know, I tried to get information. He had to run, understandably. As soon as he hung up, we felt the ground shake under us here at Newsline 9. So if you felt something, this is it. Again, a live picture from Tower Cam. We're going to get to our crews as soon as we can because we know you've got to be concerned if you know individuals who work in the federal court building downtown Oklahoma City. We appreciate the calls from those of you who are calling. Uh, you're, I know you're looking for more information on what the explosion was. That's why we're staying with you live. We want to pass it to you as soon as we get it. The confirmations we've been able to get Again, the federal court building is the building where there was an explosion. We have confirmed there are a number of injuries. How many? We have not gotten. Of course, no names yet. It's too soon. This happened moments ago. And we have confirmed glass has been blown for five blocks, so a very powerful shock in downtown Oklahoma City. We'll stay with this live picture tower cam, and I'm getting some information here in the newsroom and passing along to you as soon as I get it. Okay, nine, Chopper 9 on the way. We have a crew in Chopper 9. We have crews on the ground. As soon as they are in place, we will talk with them. It probably seems like it's been a long time, but it's just been a few minutes. And we are rushing to the scene to get you information on what has happened at the federal court building in downtown Oklahoma City. Scanner traffic is incredible, as you might imagine. Every kind of emergency vehicle has been called to the scene in downtown Oklahoma City. It's my understanding we're going to get an individual on the air right now that I'm going to be able to speak with who might be able to provide us some more information. Desiree Robbins on her way up right now to the control. We have an individual, I understand, who will be able to speak with us by phone as we try to get more information on what has happened at the Federal Court Building in downtown Oklahoma City. Ranger 9 is very close, I'm being told. We want to get you more pictures. The area where there was a major explosion at the Federal Court Building. People are calling and we'll put some of them on the air. Like I mentioned, we have an individual who's standing by on the phone we're hoping to get in just a minute who can get some more information. We have several individuals we're going to talk to by phone as we talk you through this to try to get more information on what's happening. Here is a live picture from Ranger 9, uh, I-35, I-40, the cross there, Federal Court Building. Jesse Gary is in Chopper 9. Jesse, tell us what you're seeing from the air. Black billow, smoke billowing from the Federal Court Building downtown. And this debris, glass, uh, building matter spread on several downtown blocks. 
It looks as though emergency crews are, are on the scene trying to block off some downtown streets. Some workers are out of their building, and we can see glass blown out of other downtown office buildings about five blocks away. The explosion uh, went off around 9 a.m., and we could feel the explosion in the newsroom of uh, Channel 9. It shook the building, so you can imagine what it did downtown. There is thick smoke still coming from the building and on the ground, I can see. It looks like part of the building has been blown away. We'll have to bank around the other side so I can get a better view of it. But there's heavy damage downtown. Danny. It's the federal building, we're being told. My mic is open, is that correct? If you, let's try to keep my mic open if we can, and then I'll be able to talk with Jesse. If you are, if, as the chopper goes around the side of the federal building, wow. that, look at that shot, Holy and it cow. is absolutely incredible. About the third. side of the federal building has been blown off, Jesse. A, about, a, about a third, about a third of the building has been blown away. And you can see this smoke and debris and fire on the ground, downtown on the ground. Uh, this is just devastating, and we are we are uncertain what caused this explosion at this time. It happened around 9 o'clock. It was felt as far away as Channel 9. That's good, at least five miles from downtown. And uh, there's heavy damage downtown to uh, office buildings. As emergency crews try and assist the injured, we have no report yet on the number of injured people, just that there are numerous injuries. Tammy. Uh, Jesse, can you relate to Jesse? Do, is it is a plume of smoke too thick to see people being brought out of the building? Any visuals of injuries at all right now? Too too thick to see through the smoke, Tammy. And we're on the side where the smoke is coming right at us. When we move around the other side, maybe I'll get a better view. But right now, I can see downtown uh, workers mingling on the street to, to, I guess, see what happened. And I see ambulance and other emergency crews, EMSA crews, so I imagine they are assisting injured persons, but uh, I cannot see if people are being brought out of the smoke. Jesse, you know, we, this is an incredible picture. Half the building, a third of the building has been blown off and we felt it here. We talk a lot about earthquakes. I've never felt one, but that felt like an earthquake this morning. I can barely hear you, but most definitely it felt like an earthquake, felt like something actually shook our building, our television station. That's five miles away. Downtown there is broken glass on streets. I count five blocks from the site of the smoke. This is glass all over the street. I can see uh, mingling about. Murrah building. It is a federal building. Okay, I, I want to pass this along. This is really important. It's the Murrah building in downtown Oklahoma City. Our understanding is it was the federal courthouse. It is not as the Murrah building in downtown Oklahoma City. I understand we have an individual on the phone. Connie, are you with us? Connie? Here. Is Connie with us? Connie, I understand you were working, or you are at the leadership building in downtown Oklahoma City. What can you tell us about this explosion as a witness down there? Um, I was just sitting here and heard a loud explosion. The building shook, the lights flickered. Um, we ran to the windows. We saw smoke coming from around the federal building area. And that's about it. Everybody's pretty shook up. Connie, you weren't in the building that blew up, but I would imagine they are shaken. We felt it here at Newsline 9. What are people doing downtown? Is it total chaos? Yeah, a lot of the buildings are being evacuated. Ours, ha ours has not been. Some of the buildings that um, weren't involved in the explosion have glass broken out of them, some of them that were close to it. Um, there's people all over the street. Connie, how far away are you from, as we take a look at a live picture from Net Ranger 9, how far away are you from this Murrah building? Uh, I believe three blocks. Now, you're familiar with downtown Oklahoma City. We were getting initial reports this was the federal building. It is not. It is the Murrah building. Can you help us with the Murrah building? What's next door? What's in the vicinity in terms of its location? Uh, the Murrah building is just north of the federal building. Um, that's probably about as far north as I know, because the county courthouse is south of that and everything. What type the journal of record building is that, what's that way. Okay, what type of work? What are offices are in the Murrah building? Are you familiar with that? That I do not know. 
that. I'm not, I'm not sure of that. But you do know you were close by and you felt it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Are you, do you have a window there in your office? Um, not where I'm standing right now, but one nearby. Okay. Can you get to a window and be on the phone? And, um, and... I'll have to put you on hold. Can you do that? We'd like for you, if you could, just to, to be at a window so you can look out and tell us what you're seeing there downtown. Okay, just a second.